Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase here with Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much for stopping in. Today, very excited to talk to you about the latest offering in the Tusk Adventure Tire lineup. It is the Two Track. This is a 70-30 tire built for mid and large adventure bikes. And if you ride ADV bikes, then you know it is crucial to find the best performing tire for the riding that you are going to be doing. And finding a high level off-road performance tire that is still gonna give you confidence and long-term durability on the pavement, that's a tricky balance to strike. And it's for those reasons that we set out to design the two track. Now, if you're like us on your ADV rides, well, that means that you like to spend a lot of time off-road. When we are designing, developing, engineering the two track, there's three boxes that we wanted to check off in the development. So first off was just unmatched off-road capability. The second thing we need to check was that even with the off-road capability, you still need to have great performance on the road. When you're cruising down the highway, you want a nice, quiet, smooth ride. You want confidence when you're cornering. And the third box is longevity. You need the tire to have the lifespan that you expect, especially when you're going on those long, ambitious ADV rides that we know you're gonna go on. Now, even though the two-track is labeled a 70-30 tire, it was designed and proven to work really well in a wide variety of conditions. And after years of testing, thousands and thousands of miles logged on this tire, trying different tread designs, different rubber compounds, different carcass constructions. We are very confident you're gonna love this. No matter what the ratio is of dirt to asphalt that you're gonna be riding on, you're gonna like the performance, you're gonna like the longevity of this tire. We are very happy with the way it turned out. So now I wanna go through, I wanna talk about the features and some of the cool design that went into these tires so you know that this is the best option for you for your next adventure ride. And we're gonna start with the rear. So the first thing you'll notice when you look at the rear tire is just how big and how aggressive the knobs are. Now, as I mentioned earlier, off-road performance, that was a high priority for the two track. And we tried a lot of different tread designs to get this exactly how we wanted it. And with these large center knobs, a couple key things these are doing. One, great bite, great traction off-road. And, but it also gives you a good large contact patch when you're on the pavement. But another critical thing with the knobs, and again, this is striking that balance that I mentioned, is having the spacing right. And we went through a lot of testing with this because you need the knobs spread out far enough that it's gonna help promote cleaning, it's gonna give you plenty of biting edges for good performance off-road, but you don't want them too spread out. You need them close enough together so that when you're on the asphalt, it does a couple key things. One, it's gonna help with the tread wear, the tread life. It's also gonna give you a smooth, quieter ride at those higher speeds on the asphalt. And so again, finding that balance of that spacing was very important. You'll also notice the connecting bars right here between the knobs. So a couple of things for those, it's gonna add support, stability, it's gonna aid with the handling, even wear, you know, especially on those high horsepower bikes that you're gonna have these on. Now, just like every other aspect of the two track, the rubber compound was something that we tested extensively and we tested different rubber compounds until we got it right. And finding the right blend is more important than some riders might think. Having the right rubber compound, not only is that gonna give you the best traction performance off-road and on the pavement, but it's also key when it comes to the longevity of the tire. It has to be resistant to cracking, to chunking, uneven wear. So this tire not only performs well off-road, it's definitely gonna stick to the curves on the slab, and we ended up using a rubber compound that gives exactly what I just described. We're very confident that you're gonna love how it performs in just a wide variety of conditions. The carcass of the two track was another aspect that required a ton of testing. And again, you're trying to find that balance because the carcass of this tire, it's gotta be stiff enough to handle the weight of those larger ADV bikes, especially if you have it loaded up with luggage, if maybe you have a passenger on there. So it's gotta be stiff enough that it's gonna be stable at high speed, stable while cornering, under hard acceleration and hard braking. But the balance that you're trying to find is that you gotta have it stiff enough, but you also do want to have some compliance so that it's gonna help absorb some bumps and just offer a smoother, more comfortable ride in certain conditions. Another key aspect about the carcass too is that getting that correct is gonna help with the wear of the tire as well. Now, if it comes when it comes to tubes or tube lists, regardless of the setup that you're running, we did a lot of testing with both. So no matter which one you're using, you're gonna get the same performance out of the rear. All right, let's talk about the front tire next. Now, a good front tire that you wanna combo with the rear is one that's gonna help a rider predict the limits of the traction of that tire. The last thing you want 
especially on a larger ADV bike, is to have those unwanted surprises. Those surprises can end pretty badly on those types of bikes. So being able to find those limits and have confidence in that tire, that's gonna be crucial. Now this tire was built to complement and give you the same amount of traction, the same amount of confidence and all the features that we just talked about with the rear tire. And I'll tell you from my own experience. So coming from a motocross background, I was able to go on a few of the test rides while developing the two track. And I'm gonna tell you now, Riding in a big adventure bike off-road, even on the pavement, it's a different animal. It's a different thing altogether. And I noticed that every time I went out, I was able to just kind of find the limits of the tires. And eventually I just built up that confidence. I knew how much the tire could handle, how much I could lean the bike over on and off-road. And it just built my confidence every time I went out. And these two tires, like we just talked about, are built to give you the performance that you're looking for, the durability that your riders come to expect. So if you are shopping for your next, next set of adventure tires, you wanna pick up a set of the two tracks. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. We will get those answered. To grab your next set, click on the link or just head to RockyMountATVMC.com. Y'all know the deal, we ship free over $75. And this isn't all the adventure tires that we have. We have a full lineup that you can go check out. Tusk also has great off-road offerings as well. So be sure to shop the entire lineup of Tusk tires. If you like this video and you wanna stay up to date and see videos like this, subscribe to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel and please give this video a thumbs up. I am Chase and we'll see you on the trails.